I'm a toxicologist working at LEITAT. Uh, LEITAT is a technological centre, it's a private, uh, private uh, technological centre with more than 100 years experience in, in, in innovation, industrial innovation processes and has uh, different areas of expertise. One of them is, is the development of nanotechnologies for a wide range of applications. And another part is on the safety assessment of chemicals. So we made those two areas converge into the nano safety uh, group that was, uh, was born around 10 years ago. And, and since then, we've participated in several projects uh, on this area. And we continue with this activity. Uh, the Gai Nano tool was designed actually to help uh, users uh, conducting risk assessment of nanomaterials and products containing nanomaterials and to identify risk mitigation measures that, that would be necessary in each case. And, and the tool can help industry in, in compiling the data that they need to, to do this assessment and, and on the steps that need to be followed uh, to get to, to a at least a preliminary conclusion on the basis of, of such data. And we are aware that especially in the, in the early stages of development there, there are data gaps, but uh, the tool can handle that by, by using some defaults or some assumptions that, uh, that they can, it can still generate some kind of preliminary assessment. Well, early stage uh, risk assessment is important so that if there is any potential risk this, that, that the necessary measures are taken to avoid it, if there is still room for, for design. One thing that needs to be understood is nanomaterials are highly dynamic and their properties are likely to change through their life cycle. So depending on their use and the end of life uh, that, uh, that will appear for that material, the properties will change and with their properties also their risks. So in a risk assessment of nanomaterials, it's unlikely that we'll be handling a single material. It will be a series of nanoforms, which are the ones that could uh, occur during its life cycle. And, and this is necessary, otherwise we'll be missing part of the, of the potential risk.